In this video, I'll be showing you some of the print functions of Catalogit. Now, the printing I'm showing you today, you can do from the level of any individual entry, from the level of search results, or from the level of, of a particular folder. In this case, I'll be going to one of my folders. Now, printing is accessed from these three, button, these three dots here in the upper right-hand corner. These are what we call the Actions menu. When I click on that and scroll down to Print, you see I have three different types of printing here. Now, the first one, Pages, you can think of as being essentially sort of an ad hoc report writer. So it defaults to showing your primary image and some of the basic information. If you want to, you can select all photos and have all your photos uh, included. I'm going to go back to my primary photo for this one. And if I wanted any additional information besides the basic information here, I can select all. And now any other information that's being used in any of these entries is available to me here to add to my report. So now this is ready for me to either send off to my color printer or I can print it as a PDF and then email it off if I needed to. Now the second type of printing is really for extracting data. It's what we call our table printer. So in this case, the data is presented in this tabular format and you have this little cloud icon here that you can use to download the table directly to Excel or to a CSV format. The CSV you could open, for instance, in, in, uh, in sh Sheets or in, uh, in Google Sheets or in Numbers. Once again, it defaults to some basic information here, but you can select all and add any other additional information you like. One of the neat things about this report is you have these uh, toggle buttons here. So for instance, all these dimensions are all currently in multiple columns, but I can use the toggle switch and condense them all to a single column, make my spreadsheet a little bit more uh, easy to manipulate. So again, this is for extracting data. And then the third type of printing here is our label printer. The labels default to showing the, the thumbnail image, your number, and the name of the item. I'm going to increase this, let's say, to four columns. I'll add a QR code in there. Now you can scan the QR code with your phone or your tablet and it will actually open up the record in your browser on your on your phone. Defaults again to having that your number and the title, but you can add any other additional information by selecting from all. And those are the primary print functions in Catalog It. Thank you very much.